Excited na ba kayo? Me, I'm super excited because malapit na ang Christmas. So that means gatherings, feeding people. Today we're going to talk about how to do three treats, delicious treats that you can serve to your friends or family at a gathering you might host sa bahay ninyo. So let's get started. This is Teach with Joy and I'm Joy Mendoza. This episode is all about preparing special treats for Christmas. You don't have to spend a lot to have wonderful treats for your loved ones to enjoy. We will share with you easy to do and inexpensive treats that will make your celebration super special. This episode was all about preparing special treats for Christmas. Now, you could serve hot chocolate, diba? Right? Pero why not make a hot chocolate bar? So people can actually customize their hot chocolate depending on what they like and it makes it a fun experience, especially if you're inviting some kids or kids at heart, <laughs> like us. For this inexpensive and fun DIY activity, prepare the following ingredients in different mason jars or glass containers. First, cocoa powder, then cinnamon, marshmallows, mini chocolate chips, peppermint candy cane, milk, brown sugar, chocolate dipped cookie sticks, and wafer sticks. So we have milk, we have cinnamon, we have sugar, we have chocolate chips, marshmallows, sticks. Then here we have candy canes that are peppermint, so there's that peppermint flavor as well. Make sure you have hot water handy and cups for your guests to assemble their own hot chocolate. To make this hot chocolate session even more special, you can add twine or ribbons on the cups and fully decorate your hot chocolate bar area to make it really festive. This is easy to do, inexpensive and fun for all. My friends Patricia and Michelle put these together and will do these in their homes for Christmas. And then we made not just cupcakes, but Christmas tree cupcakes. So what this basically is, is um, you have the base of a normal cupcake, tapos you get a waffle cone, and then you ice it with green, and then you will sprinkle it with powdered sugar. Mukhang mahirap siya, pero actually, if you saw the process, madali lang talaga siya. Pwede gawin ng mga anak ninyo, and even your friends, you can make it a cupcake decorating experience together. These Christmas tree cupcakes will be a sure hit. Ang simpleng simple. Inexpensive also, but my wow factor. My other friend Andy is the expert when it comes to baking, so we invited her to bake the cupcakes and help us put these together. Option one, bake your cupcakes, flavor of your choice. Option two, buy ready-made cupcakes from the store. You can also have waffle cones, ready-made frosting, or whip up your own icing, green food coloring to mix with your frosting, green, red, and white cake sprinkles, powdered sugar, and chocolate candy such as M&M's. Here's the step-by-step. Step. Take the cupcake and put a layer of white frosting on top of the cupcake. Place and secure the waffle cone on top of your cupcake, then set aside. For the frosting on the tree, use the food color to get a rich green color and put the green frosting in a piping bag and attach a star-shaped nozzle. Cover the waffle cone with frosting and then decorate with sprinkles and chocolate candy to your liking. Then, sprinkle powdered sugar for the snow effect. 
And then for the cheese board, this was done by my other friend, Chummy. And simply lang siya, you just do layers of different items that people, when they come, they can pick at it. Make sure they wash their hands first, don't forget. <laughs> and it's shaped like a Christmas tree. Para my konting personality siya na Christmassy. To make an easy cheese board, here are ingredients you might want to consider. For cheeses, go for a variety of textures. Soft cheeses like burrata, mozzarella, brie, and then semi-soft like Stilton, Roquefort, Gorgonzola, or Fontina. Semi-hard like Manchego, Swiss, Provolone, or hard cheddar, Parmesan, Pecorini. And then don't forget the accompaniments to go with the cheese and add a pop of color to your board. So you can use bread and crackers like baguettes, ciabattas, breadsticks, crostinis, multigrain crackers, uh, wafers, parmesan crisps, and then you can add fresh fruits as well like strawberries, even blueberries and raspberries, tangerines, and you can also put nuts almonds, walnuts, pecans, then put some spreads as well, like maybe cream cheese spreads, chutneys. So basically, you wanna make sure that everything um, has different colors, different gradients of color, has pops of color, then you can use rosemary or, or even parsley to garnish. And then you have Carrots, para healthy, and then cured meats, cheeses, even strawberries, olives, some nuts, and then we cut out a star using a cookie cutter. Pero it's actually cheese. So there, that's an example of a cheese board that has more flair and personality. So there you have it. Simple lang, but it makes a big impact because there's special touches to it. And then we also decorated the buffet area. Para it doesn't look so plain, we added pine cones, greens again, and uh, some risers to elevate and put different depths and different heights for the desserts. So there, simple lang, and I hope that you guys get inspired by this. And you know, I just did research online to find out these ideas. These are not actually original to me, but I went on Pinterest. So you can go there to get more ideas for how you can make your Christmas treats more special. Siyempre, since things are easing up, super excited tayo mag-host ng mga party, but we still have to be safe and aware of having standards in our home para we won't infect our guests, di ba? So, first is if you're gonna do games, pwede naman mag-games. Kaya lang, another option is you can also do online games. Those can also be fun. And then if you're going to host a party at home, why not do it outdoors, sa labas, para open air. And then you can also set up a sanitation area for your guests as they come in and as they leave. And then always remind them, pag hindi tayo kumakain, magmasta lang tayo muna ha. So that you can still practice social distancing and being careful with exchanging germs, which you don't want to do. And then lastly, of course, have fun, enjoy yourselves, but always be careful because we're still in a pandemic. I hope nakita ninyo na madali lang mag-host ng party and serve treats that are yummy and delicious and maganda pa ang itsura nila, no? So, my personal favorite was, hmm, maybe the, the hot chocolate station kasi ang dali lang talaga. You just put the ingredients there and then your guests can enjoy putting it together. But just remember, like we talked about, of course, to be careful with still, you know, practicing precautions and being safe. And I want to thank my friends who helped me again. Super thank you talaga because you made it more fun. Patricia, Mitch, Chummy, and Andy, I really appreciate you guys. And please don't forget, if you're watching, to follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, and YouTube at My Plus Network. Thank you all for watching as usual. I appreciate all of you and thanks for joining us once again on another episode of Teach With Joy Season 2.